Over the past decade, the NoFap movement has been sweeping across the internet, promoting the benefits of abstaining from pornography and masturbation. While many have celebrated its positive effects, it is important to shed light on the less discussed negative aspects of the NoFap lifestyle. And in this video, we will delve into the often overlooked downsides of NoFap and the potential challenges it may pose to individuals. So without further ado, let's get started. NoFap often takes a moralistic approach, framing the consumption of pornography and masturbation, basically the PMO cycle, as immoral or sinful. And this perspective can inadvertently result in excessive guilt and shame for individuals who choose to partake in these activities. And even if you decide to start a NoFap challenge, once you fail, you feel probably worse than if you were to never start it. The constant self-indulgement and negative self-perception can be emotionally burdensome and sometimes it may affect your mental health and well-being. The other thing are the unrealistic expectations. Because many proponents claim that abstaining from sexual release leads to miraculous transformations, increased confidence, boundless energy and heightened attractiveness, as well as testosterone. However, the reality often falls short of these lofty promises, and it leaves many individuals disillusioned and disappointed. And now, while I can agree that there are definitely some benefits, the community, the YouTube and TikTok, Instagram communities are overhyping it too much up to the point that you feel like once you do it you have some super strength and it's not true you have increased confidence more energy more testosterone and you appear more attractive in the result of all those things but it's not something insane and while i recommend you start no fab just don't be expecting to fly around or something like that and the other thing the other downside is that it may lead to increased anxiety and stress, of course, for the first couple of months. Now, you probably know that scientifically, sexual release is known to reduce stress and promote relaxation, and most of the people excuse their behavior with this because they're pretty stressed and they want to release their stress. That's why they're doing it. And denying oneself this natural form of relief can result in heightened levels of anxiety, especially for those who view it negatively. But the thing is, that you feel that way only for the first couple of months and after that you feel even better about yourself now i'm not talking about no fab hard mode the only thing i'm talking about is literally watching porn during the pmo cycle and that's the only thing i'm recommending you to quit feel free to do whatever you want just don't watch porn and sometimes sometimes it's even okay to masturbate of course without with of course without any entertainment because you just can't you just can't hold it anymore now it's better to try to hold it because that way first of all you're exercising self-discipline and you increase your energy levels and if you fap your testosterone levels will drop a little bit but honestly if you get to two weeks if you abstain for two weeks and after that if you fap it's not even that bad because at some point you will get that flat line and this some kind of a reset button if you want to think of it that way so this is the third downside and now lastly the fourth downside and i will create another video that's made specifically on that topic and it is the potential for sexual dysfunctions and this may include difficulty achieving and maintaining erections as well as issues such as premature ejaculation during sexual activities and the truth is that at some point you even feel worse your anxiety will probably heighten you won't be that energized or at least you won't feel hyped to do the stuff that you previous wanted to do you won't have so much motivation and this is normal most of the people get it on the second week but you might you might see this change in behavior for after a month or maybe two months some of you may not even experience it which is again completely fine and once you experience that it usually lasts for five to seven days and it is called the flat line so if you experience it don't don't get scared it's completely normal you'll probably have no desire for sexual activities and again this is normal you shouldn't you shouldn't go back to your pmo cycle just so you can be sure that you don't have any dysfunctions and your body is working properly don't do this it's completely useless and you just ruin the progress 
not all of the progress, but some of the progress that you've made. So guys, you can understand that it's essential to know what the NoFap lifestyle is. And while it has benefits, a lot of benefits, there are some drawbacks. It's up to you to decide whether you want to get on that journey. And since it's now not November, it's a great start for those of you who are not sure whether they should start NoFap. It's a great way to see whether you want to do it and what kind of benefits you can get. So thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in tomorrow's episode.